video, we're talking about assigning certain townies and buildings to different members of our derby team so that when tasks come up for the town, they can be completed very quickly because we've already been preparing in advance to take a certain task. So let's say that in this derby coming up, I'm going to be doing the salesman and the spa. I am really focused on getting those two, getting prepared for those two tasks. So first I need to look and see how many salesmen I have. I have three. Richard and Richard, I have two Richards, they are both fully served. However, Henry is not fully served. He is ready right now in the diner, but he wants to go to the bed and breakfast, so I need to send him there. So I need to collect his reward from the diner, and then he will be under my idle tab. And from here, I will send him, well, I won't send him to the bed and breakfast because right now I cannot. So I will go and find, see if I have somebody ready in the bed and breakfast. I do, I have Matthew. So I can release Matthew, collect his reward. Thank you, and then I can send Henry Well, I should be able to send Henry to the bed and breakfast. Hold on. No. Okay. He was ready in the bed and breakfast, but I've got too many people I'm still serving in the bed and breakfast right now. Okay, so I will leave him idle. I will leave Henry idle until I can send him to the bed and breakfast. But as soon as he's done there, he will be fully served. I also have, I'm, I'm under my serving tab now, and I have one, two, three. I have three more salesmen. So right now, I have six salesmen in my town. Most of these tasks, I think, are for 10, serving 10 of a certain person. So right now, I could take my train out, and I could try to collect four more salesmen. The spa is my building. I, still, I will still have to finish serving these three, though. Luke and David will still need to go some more places but before they're fully served, but I at least have them in my town so I can serve them. I will take my train out, and I will collect the other four salesmen that I need, and that way I start collecting them in my town. I'll also have my big train will come in in about three hours, and right now, it can bring me nine people. So of those nine people, some of them will probably be salesmen. So it's not so hard to collect a certain type of person in your town. But what you don't want to do is take that person and collect them in the building that you're doing. So like I'm doing the spa. I don't want to end up with a bunch of, of salesmen in my spa. And the reason is because the, if the spa task comes up first... And say the task says serve 10 people in your spa. If I'm releasing people in my spa and four of them are salesmen, then I've just sent four of my salesmen out of my town and I want to keep them. So I want to try to put other characters besides the salesmen in my spa. So under my ready tab, I don't currently have anybody ready in the spa. So, let's go see if any of my idle people, none of my idle people right now want to go to the spa. So, I'm not really set up very well for the spa right now. But I also could take my train out, and I can collect people that want to go to the spa, and I can send them there. And what the idea is, is that under this ready tab, once I get a character in this tab that says ready in spa, I do not want to move them anymore. Like, let's just flip the tables a little bit and say that I was the diner. Let's just pretend I'm the diner. That'll be better for this example. I've got one, two, three people on this screen that are ready in the diner. Richard, who is also a salesman, so that's not so great for me, but Richard is fully served. He's ready in the diner. Sebastian is ready in the diner. He's fully served. Now, Sophia, she's also ready in the diner, but she also wants to go to the beach cafe. 
I am never touching her. I am going to leave her in that diner. And that way, if a diner task comes up, she will count for the diner. I just won't mess with her anymore. So when your certain, your certain building is showing up here under the ready tab with a person in that building, don't mess with them anymore. Even if they want to go to two other places, just leave them there. Because if you take, if I take the diner task, as soon as I go to Sophia, after I take the diner task, I can come to Sophia and I can collect her reward. And when I do, she counts as a person I served in my diner. If I send her to the beach cafe, she won't count for the diner anymore. So I will leave her alone. I'll leave her in the diner. I will take my train and I will go places and try to collect more people that go in the diner. But if we've changed my building to the diner, Catherine is ready in the beach cafe, but she still wants to go to the diner. So I can click on her. I can collect her reward. I can go to idle, find her there again, and I can now send her to the diner. I'm going to go back to my town hall under waiting because now she's waiting in the diner and I'm going to go to her, see visitor, and I'm going to serve her. Oops. Okay, I'm going to do that again. I'm going to serve her. Now that I have served her in the diner, I am not touching her anymore. Even though she wants to go to some other places, she wants to go to the spa. She's not going to the spa until the diner task is finished. If this derby comes and goes and no diner task ever comes up, then I will release her at the end and I will send her to the spa. But for right now, for the duration of this derby, she stays in that diner. She does not come out of that diner. When she's done being served, she'll show up in this ready tab and she will say, ready in diner, just like Sophia does. And I will leave her down there just like that. Another thing in the derby that we need to keep in mind is if someone else needs a character that we have and they ask for that character in the, t in the chat bar to be released, like say that somebody needed grandmasters, so they said, does anybody have any grandmasters that they can, they can release? I have one right here. His name is David. David is right now in my beach cafe. He wants to go to the grocery store. I am not going to send him to the grocery store and then release him for the person that needs him. I am going to tap on him and collect his reward, and then I am going to send him away so that he can be available for that person who requested him because it's important that they are set up for the grandmaster task. Now, if he was ready in my diner, no, I wouldn't send him away because he counts for my diner. So, you know, I wouldn't send him away. There's no way to tell when you send a person away where they're going to want to go once you send them to the train station. I wish we could tell, you know, where they're going to want to go, but we can't tell. So if I needed to go pick up people for the diner right now, I would just have to go to different people's train stations to try to find people that want to go to the diner. We can't control that as much as I wish we could. But anyway, also for town task, if you if you don't focus on upgrading all this land in the town, you don't need it. It's not functional. It doesn't help you. All it does is make your town pretty. It does nothing for you. But the town hall, upgrading the town hall is important. Upgrading the train station is important. Getting more slots in all of your buildings is important. And this train, your personal train is important. Your upgrades on your train will let you pick up more people. And you can also get your train to the point that it goes out every hour and a half instead of waiting. Right now, mine is five and a half hours before it can go out but you can get that down to an hour and a half. So those are important things when you're thinking about upgrades and what you're going to store in your barn. Focus on those upgrades for the town. Don't so much focus on the land and getting all, I mean, at some point, yes, you'll be able to do that, but 
it's not important if your train's not upgraded in your town hall. Those things will help you do town tasks better, more efficiently. So, if you have any more suggestions about how to do this better, you can leave comments below the video. Um, you might have some better ideas than me, but that's all I got right now. <laughs>